Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV back with another travel type video for you. This one is a look at a state park in eastern Oregon called Farewell Bend State Recreation Area. Uh, we're making our way back to Vancouver Island for the summer. It's uh, we're going to be back there at the start of May, so we have to get start going more north uh, west from where we've been in Utah and Idaho. Uh, if you missed those videos from there, I'll link to them in the the description. Uh, so we wanted to get down and explore. Right here is the Columbia River Gorge, really spectacular scenery. There's a national scenic area right around here. So we've never been through there, so we really wanted to go through there, but we needed to get from Idaho over there. And you got to kind of go over a, a, a range of mountains. Now the spring's been fairly on the cool side, so there's been a lot of snow up here at a place called Dead Man's Pass in Cabbage Hill. I actually had a dash cam video a couple days ago from our descent there. So uh, we had to wait for a weather window that was pretty decent. So I was looking for a place where we could wait, um, needed about three days. So I found this uh, place called Farewell Bend that looked pretty cool from the topography there. And uh, it's actually pretty interesting because it's on the, the Snake River here and it's where uh, the Oregon Trail kind of split. They followed the Snake River as far as this place called Farewell Bend and that's why they called it Farewell Bend because that's when they bid farewell to the Snake River and they went over the pass and down and, and followed the Columbia River. So uh, what I got for you here is some footage from on the ground and some photos. Uh, oops. Sorry about that, lost my place on the map. And yeah, so there's just off of Interstate 84, right here, there's a truck stop, and you just go off and within a minute you're into the, the state park here. This time of year, um, most of it was closed. There was one loop open, which actually was the nice loop over here. I think it's called Catfish Loop. And we camped right down here. We got a nice spot overlooking the river. Um, this is actually a kind of a reservoir. I guess there's a dam further up, and they they call it some sort of reservoir. But it's a big, wide bend of the the river here. Um, I also went and explored a free campsite over here, a little bit over, not too far, maybe 20 minutes away, called Spring Recreation Site. Um, Interesting there, when I went there, I actually uh, kind of knew the camp host. He knew me from Love You RV, and I've emailed him before. <laughs> um, so you can get in there, and there is some spots there uh, that you could get in. It's a little tight to turn around a big trailer, but uh, I think it's uh, free in kind of the off-season months or five bucks in the kind of summer months, but it looked like a, a nice little spot. The only thing is the road in is a little narrow and it goes along this cliff here so I have a bit of dash cam footage for you just to kind of give you a look at it if you go in I definitely go in with some good weather and on a clear day because when you go around some of these corners if you're going to meet a car and you've got a big trailer um, it's going to get a little dicey on the edge because the edge is there's no guardrails or shoulders really so it just drops right off kind of crumbly there also is another campsite on the other side. You can see this is the Oregon-Idaho border. And on the other side here, there's a, I forget what it was called, yeah, Steck Park. And it seems to have more developed camping, but I didn't go over there because I would have had to double back quite a bit. I think it was about a 50 minute drive both each way so I didn't go back but you can see from the satellite it looks pretty good and I did see some RVs that were driving out it's a dirt road on that side and I saw some RVs that were kind of coming out that side and they look like a pretty good sized trailer in a class C so I imagine you can get a larger RV in there and then one more spot I think you can camp is on the Idaho shore the shore here there's some dunes uh, I think it's Wiser Dunes or something like that. And I guess you can dry camp over there as well. Um, yeah, there it is, Wiser Sand Dunes. But beware, you know, you're going to have motorbikes and uh, ATVs and stuff and kind of get noisy at some point. So we decided to spend the money over here at uh, Farewell Bend Recreation Area 
very pretty. While we were there, actually, one morning it got very cold and we actually had a snowfall. So I woke up in a blanket of white stuff, but it melted off pretty quick and we got some uh, really nice photos as it melted away and the land was still wet. So it really made the colors pop. It made it really pretty. Also, there was a herd of cows that kept coming through all the time. They'd wander down and over here is kind of a ranch. So they'd come down and hang around and we saw pronghorn as well and quite a bit of uh, bird life. So it was a neat stopover. So let's go down and get you on. Let's walk down to the edge of the river here, give you a little 360 of the scene. Water's really low. Didn't get much snowpack this year, I think, so not getting very much meltwater. Bit of a drought happening. Lots of birds here. Seen hawks and eagles, magpies, all sorts of things. Of course, Canada geese. I think these are coots. <laughs> They're swimming but not going anywhere. So right across there is Idaho. I'm standing in Oregon. This section, uh, the river is the border. We're just waiting on the weather. I gotta go over the Blue Mountains over Dead Man's Pass, uh, Cabbage Hill. So the weather can be a little iffy. You go up in elevation, so it's easy for it to start snowing. So I'm gonna wait a few days and really let it warm up. Down here it's around 50 degrees today and sunny, but it's still a little cold up there. Over there is the interstate. There's a new truck stop there. I think it's a TA truck stop. Get fuel and propane there. Over there, the boat ramp. Super steep boat ramp. I guess they just launch little boats here anyway. And then back up this way is where we're situated. We're in catfish loop. Everybody tells me it's really good uh, catfish fishing here. They have a catfish festival, I think, or derby or something. And a fish called a crappie, I think is what they said too, is also what people catch. So we've seen lots of fishermen out along the shores and in boats. Yesterday when we arrived, there was a bunch of cows hanging out down in this field. Anyway, Farewell Bend State Park. Pretty good little stopover. It's $26 for Oregon State residents, and uh, we had to pay $33. But you get water and electric. Guy's rounding up his cows with his truck. He just came and drove in the field. All the cows are following them now. <laughs> I guess it I guess they know that he's they're gonna get fed by him or something. Maybe they've learned that uh, follow that truck, get some, get some goodies. I also spotted uh, some pronghorns in the distance there.